friends, once again welcome to Diksha Mission Jara. This is the 51st part of Diksha Mission Jara. In the past 50 days, we have discussed different topics from our NTNN paper 1 syllabus. We have given priority for discussing question papers, especially that of previous questions. I hope your preparations are going well. You are using Diksha progress report or any other progress report mechanism so as to make sure all your topics, okay, you are covering all of the topics that are coming under our paper one syllabus and also make sure you are going through all possible previous questions. Okay, so be uh, thorough with especially tough topics like uh, so-called tough, tough topics like logical reasoning, data interpretation, mathematical reasoning, etc. And if you want to download previous question papers or other materials for your NTN and preparation, you can visit our website www.dikshaklassroom.com and also if you want to get uh, free NTN and study materials, updates, video links, question papers, etc. directly to your WhatsApp, you can join Diksha Paper 1 free WhatsApp broadcast by sending join to Nanit 47478690. You can also join our subject broadcast for social work, commerce, then psychology, economics, etc. by using the link and the details that is provided in the YouTube description. So in the past few three videos, we were discussing uh, ICT question from 2019 June. As of now, three parts of ICT question from 2019 June has been discussed. So this is a fourth part of the video discussing ICT question from 2019 June examination. Remember, this is a final part of ICT questions also. In the upcoming videos, we'll be discussing questions from other important topics. So friends, let's go to the questions. So in this video, we are discussing ICT questions from 2019 June. This is our fourth part. So let's move to the questions. So this is the first question. Which of the following is a type of malware intentionally inserted into a software system that will set off a malicious function when specified conditions are met? So it's all about different types of malwares. The question is all about different types of malwares. So here they have asked among the given four malwares, which among them is supposed to be intentionally inserted into a software system that will set off a malicious function when a specified conditions are met. So the options given are option A, worm, option B, trojan, option C, spyware, and option D, logic bomb. Okay, so just reread the question and try to answer the question. Okay, so now we'll try to answer the question. Uh, I hope you know what is a malware is. Okay, malware is a software that is intended to cause, uh, cause a negative impact or a harmful impact on the computer system. So there are different types of malwares. We have the viruses, we have the worms, we have the trojans, we have the spywares and logic bomb. So we'll try to understand what are the different malwares that have been stated in this particular question so firstly let's try to understand what is a worm is i hope you know what a worm is worm is a type of malware that spread copies of itself from computer to computer so worm will be a particular malware and it will spread its copies from a particular computer to other computer through storage devices or any such type of devices that you use and the important aspect related to worm is that a worm can replicate itself without any human interaction and it does not need to attach itself to a software program program in order to cause damage which means worm can multiply itself worm can uh, attach to a program without any human interaction so virus you know the virus which is the vital information resources under siege it's almost the opposite of worm 
okay it always present uh, attached to a software while the same time worm is existing independently okay so that's the basic difference between virus and worm virus needs a software to replicate it will be present inside the software but worm doesn't need any such condition so next you have so the question is regarding intentionally inserted into a software that will set up a malicious function when specific conditions are met so we don't have worm as an answer so next we will try to understand what a trojan is once again i hope you know what trojan is all about trojan is a type of malicious software that looks legitimate but can take control of your computer okay which means it is designed to damage disrupt steal or inflict some other harmful action so it's uh, simply uh, at the initial stage trojan seems to be something innocent something not harmful but once it enter into the computer system as a non-harmful aspect later it will be creating harmful uh, instances or damages to your computer system it's the name itself got from the trojan hoist of the roman iliad odyssey okay stories and i hope you have heard about the trojan hoist from the odc story so similarly here the trojan will be something that will be coming to the computer as an innocent or a legitimate one and it will be creating issues later next we have spyware so trojan is also not the answer for this particular question then we have spyware spyware is an unwanted software that infiltrates computing device stealing internet usage data and sensitive information so spyware normally enters the computer and it steals sensitive information like uh, our data usage or our computer usage and other personal information so spyware is also not the correct answer for the given question and last we have the logic bomb okay we have the logic bomb okay logic bomb is a piece of code intentionally inserted into an operating system or software that implements a malicious function after a certain amount of time or specific conditions are met so that's what has been asked in this particular question okay which of the following is a type of malware intentionally inserted into a software system that will set up a malicious function so the option that fulfill this particular condition is logic bomb so for this particular question you have option d answer d as a correct answer so we'll be moving to the second question which of the following statements is or are true in respect of wireless technology okay so the question is regarding wireless technology so first statement is statement b is bluetooth is a wireless technology which can be used to connect a headset to a mobile phone okay so they are saying that uh, they are given the first statement as bluetooth is a wireless technology which can be used to connect a headset to a mobile phone and the statement q is bluetooth is a long range wireless technology and is a low cost means of data transfer so you have two statement or uh, statement p and statement q you want to go through the statement and you want to select the option which talks about the true statement regards to wireless technology Okay, so we'll try to answer this particular question. Once again, it's an easy question. It's a very common, it's a question regarding very common aspect that we have utilizing every day the Bluetooth concept. So firstly, they have said that Bluetooth is a wireless technology which can be used to connect a headset to a mobile phone. So it's a correct statement. Okay, it's a correct statement because I hope you know that Bluetooth is a technology that allows computers, mobile phones and other devices to communicate with each other over short distances without being connected utilizing some particular wires. So first statement is correct. And the second statement they have said that Bluetooth is a long range of wireless technology and is a low cost means of data transfer. Okay, they're saying that it's a long range wireless technology and it's a low cost means of data transfer. It's not correct. It's not correct because basically, even though it's used for uh, transferring uh, information or so data, it's not a long range one. 
it's a short range one bluetooth is a short range one so you have option p as a correct and option q as a wrong so we have option a as a correct answer for this particular question so for question number two you have answer a as a correct answer moving to the third question which one of the following pairs least matches in respect of computers so the question is regarding among the given four pairs regarding one gigabyte crt rom cpu etc which among the following is least matched simply which among the following is incorrect out of the given options okay so try to read the question and option i will give you a few seconds Okay, so that's it. We'll try to answer. So the first option is 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 into 1024 into 1024 bytes. I hope you know 1, uh, sorry, into 8 bits. 8 bit equal to uh, 1 byte. And you have 1024. Uh, byte equal to 1 kilobyte then you have 1 gigabyte equal to sorry 1 megabyte equal to 1024 kilobytes then you have 1 gigabyte equal to 1024 megabyte so we can say that 1 gigabyte equal to 1024 into 1024 into 1024 three times into 8 bit okay 8 bit one time so you will have option a as the correct answer next you have crt okay the expansion of crt is cathode red tube so it's the correct option then you have rom it's not rapid online memory rom stands for read only memory okay so we have basically two aspects related to computer memory firstly you have the rom read only memory then you have the ram okay you have the ram which is about random access memory okay ram is random access memory okay random access memory so option b is correct option c is wrong cpu central processing unit that's also correct so for this particular question you have the question is regarding least matches you have option c as a correct answer third question option c is a correct answer moving to the last question of this particular set select the option that shows the storage devices in order of capacity from lowest to highest so the question is regarding uh, you have to select the option that shows the storage devices in order of capacity from lowest to highest Okay, so that's we'll try to do the question. So they are asked regarding the increasing order of the storage capacity. I hope you know the storage capacity of CD is almost 700 MP. And when it comes to DVD, a normal DVD, it is almost 4.7 GB. And when it comes to Blu-ray disc, a normal Blu-ray, it's almost you have 25 GB. So the increasing order you will be having first cd then dvd then blu-ray disc so given the option answer a answer a will be the correct answer a cd rom dvd rom and blu-ray disc will be the correct answer for this particular question okay so that's all about this set of questions so friends that's all about this video discussing ict question from 2019 june examination as of now we have discussed all ict questions from 2019 june in four different parts if you have yet to watch any of those, go to our YouTube channel, Diksha Classroom. Make sure you have subscribed to Diksha Classroom YouTube channel. And you can go to the playlist section so as to receive different previous questions 
2019 complete question papers also categorized questions are also available in our youtube channel okay so see you again in the next diksha mission jrf video with another set of questions thank you